Hello, this is a new video to compare the uh, hybrid car battery uh, for nickel metal hydride and lithium ion hybrid batteries. Uh, both of these batteries are used in today's hybrid uh, vehicles and they both have advantages and disadvantages and today I'm going to be covering each of these points uh, and explaining the differences between nickel metal hydride and lithium ion hybrid batteries. Uh, the first um, point is the weight which is uh, very very important in hybrid vehicles as you know the less weight the more uh, efficient uh, the car will be uh, so the nickel metal hydride uh, is heavier than the lithium ion hybrid battery which gives the lithium ion hybrid battery an advantage uh, with better fuel economy uh, since it has less weight to add to the car. Uh, both batteries are expensive to manufacture and uh, uh, thus the you know the expensive price to replace them when they're dead. Uh, the nickel metal hydride is relatively resistant to heat uh, so it's not really affected uh, much by increased heat as uh, the lithium ion uh, batteries. The lithium ion batteries are sensitive to heat, relatively sensitive compared to nickel metal hydride. So, you know, one of the uh, uh, videos that I have watched, it's in the description, it says that the lithium ion battery can uh, lose almost 30% of its capacity if it's uh, uh, you know directed to extensive heat while the uh, you know nickel metal hydride is less sensitive to high temperature surges especially during uh, charging uh, of the batteries they're susceptible to very high temperatures and can reduce its uh, capacity the nickel metal hydride can be reconditioned if it loses its capacity. All you have to do is uh, fully discharge it and then fully charge it again. Uh, let it cool down for 15 minutes and then do the same thing uh, three times and it will, it will actually uh, uh, get up to 95% of its capacity. Uh, because the capacity that it loses is caused by the memory effect. So once you cycle it, uh, you know, fully three times, it will be uh, regained. It will regain its capacity up to 95%. Uh, while the lithium-ion batteries, if it's you know, uh, you know, dead or the capacity is uh, um, falls down because of excessive heat or you know, charging during charging or uh, during excessive uh, current production uh, from the battery or usage it will it can't be reconditioned you know once it loses the capacity that's it you know it's it, you can't recondition the battery and to regain its capacity uh, both batteries have similar life uh, cycles they're almost the same um, the nickel metal hydride has a less energy density so the lithium ions uh, battery uh, they have a higher energy density compared to its weight so uh, you know it's uh, energy density versus weight so the uh, lithium ion is better in this way uh, so it can actually produce more uh, current than the nickel metal hydride um, the nickel metal hydride needs occasional maintenance, just uh, as I just said. Uh, you can actually cycle it, you know, three times, once every maybe three months or four months or something like that, and will regain 95% of its capacity. While the lithium-ion batteries do not need any, any maintenance at all. 
since because you know you can't really reverse the chemistry that you know and the capacity that you're losing so whenever you're losing uh, capacity in the lithium ion it, there is no maintenance to to make it regain its capacity the capacity is lost forever uh, the nickel metal hydride is a mature technology and it's been there for a very long time it's very mature and stable technology and it's reliable too uh, the lithium ion it's really really uh, uh, it has a lot of advantages but it's not fully mature technology yet so it's you know still needs some research and improvement to actually be stable and uh, uh, to be reliable uh, the nickel metal hydride is, are affected by the memory effect, which is uh, caused by the charging and discharging of the battery. And uh, the memory effect can be reversed uh, through reconditioning, as we said before. Um, the lithium ion batteries, they don't have any memory effect, so, you know, um, it doesn't, it do, it's not, you know, affected by me the memory effect. Uh, you know, you can charge and discharge as many t and times as you want, and it will not be affected, uh, the capacity will not be affected by the memory effect. Um, the nickel metal hydride batteries have a high self-discharge, so if you charge it up fully, and you let it sit there for maybe three months or so, you'll find it, you know all down you'll find no charge in the batteries uh, the it's about I think 10% per month or 20% per month it will lose 20% of its capacity uh, you know or if, of its charge uh, per month the lithium ion on the other hand is 3% uh, of its capacity per month The, uh, you know, the life of the battery in the nickel metal hydride, it's a predicted death. So, you know, before the battery completely dies or the capacity falls down rapidly, you'll actually uh, start to see, uh, you know, a gradual fall in your MPGs and in your uh, miles per gallon in the car. So it's a gradual slowdown and then, you know, just maybe starts uh, uh, increasing the miles per gallon. This means that your battery is dying. The lithium ion battery, on the other hand, is a sudden death. So, you know, it will keep a really good efficiency, very good MPGs on your car, and then suddenly just falls down to zero. And this is caused by the uh, transfer of the lithium ions to the uh, opposite side and you know uh, reacting with the other side and they don't go back when you charge them so it's it's completely dead and needs to be replaced while when the nickel metal hydride dies you can actually you know replace cells or um, you know recondition the cells and you know gain up uh, the 95 percent of the capacity again uh, simple charge protection circuit the nickel metal hydride is you know um, uh, needs a simple charge protection circuit it's not complicated just you know set the limits of the voltages and the currents that you want to charge with and that's all you need to do while the lithium ion batteries since they're you know uh, more sensitive to heat uh, the charge protection circuit needs to take care of the high currents that you know charging the batteries and the temperatures that will the battery will reach uh, during the charge and discharge of the batteries so it's a complicated charge protection circuit uh, the nickel metal hydride is a very 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 stable chemistry it's not you know dangerous and doesn't cause any any problems at all uh, it's a stable chemistry and it's uh, been tested and used for many years now and uh, it doesn't uh, pause any threats or dangers uh, while the lithium ion batteries are not very stable chemistry they're not you know fully matured or uh, uh, you know the technology has has not given uh, 
uh, you know, very stable chemistry for the batteries to be actually uh, reliable. Uh, the nickel metal hydride is durable, while the lithium ion batteries are fragile because it's the same thing because of, of the chemistry of the lithium ion there's a lot of research going on to improve the chemistry of the lithium ion batteries right now uh, as we can see in modern uh, hybrid cars but it's still you know not as stable and durable as the nickel metal hydride uh, there's a requirement on both batteries for cooling and the nickel metal hydride batteries uh, can be uh, cooled using air cooling and that's uh, sufficient uh, again it's because of the uh, temperature of the battery while the lithium ion batteries uh, they have been uh, you know active liquid thermal cooling uh, technology applied for the lithium ion batteries to uh, protect them from high, vol high voltages and currents and high temperatures uh, as well as keeping them in their optimal performance and this is a really really good technology uh, I think uh, the Ford Focus uh, Electric is using this technology now and it's very promising it's improving the uh, range and uh, the lifetime of the lithium-ion batteries and it's a very very uh, good technology to use with lithium ion batteries while the nickel metal hydride it's not really you know that big of a requirement just you know a fan and air cooling is sufficient uh, at the end uh, nickel metal hydride is close to its technology peak uh, this technology have been there for a very long time and uh, have proving that it's stable and efficient and reliable uh, but at the same time you know it's not really there isn't that many advances in the uh, nickel metal hydride technology uh, these days because you know it's it's almost uh, uh, close to its peak so no more advances i think on on this part of the these types of batteries they're going to be still uh, they're going to still be used in the future but uh, most probably uh, a more promising future uh, technology for the lithium ion batteries because of their lightweight higher density uh, energy density and uh, um, the lifetime is pretty good too but you know the, the the problem is that you know they're fragile they need complicated active liquid cooling and uh, thermal management systems uh, also uh, charge protection circuits and a lot of uh, you know future technology that will make the lithium ion batteries uh, the batteries for the future hopefully finding new chemistry and new circuitry to uh, advance the lithium ion batteries in the future and uh, it will actually once they reach the peak of the lithium ion technology uh, you'll you'll start seeing very very efficient hybrid cars uh, thank you very much for listening and uh, i hope you like share and subscribe for future videos